Good morning. I don't know if you guys can see me or not this morning. Um, send me a message in chat if you can. Getting set up here for the first stream from my new system. Um, probably going to need to move my camera so that you're not looking at the top of my bald spot. So, <clears throat> what are we going to do today? Looks like I'm streaming okay. I updated the title just now, so if you are seeing the old title, you can... Um, so, Alright, so I'm going to get some feedback. I'm going to close the dashboard out there. Um... So if you see the old title, you can just um, refresh the page and that will take care of it. Um, so what are we doing this morning? Um, well, we're going to do, I've got some turbine point codes and I'm going to do a giveaway of 500 turbine points. Good morning, Xander. So let's bring that screen up real quick. All right. So, um, good morning, Xander. How are you? We're going to do 500 turbine points today. I've said that if we have 10 participants, I will roll for that prize. And our first participant is going to be Xander. Make sure I spell that right. There's number one out of 10. So, um, let's make our extra camera go away here. Um, if you're out there watching the stream, um, make sure to make a comment there in the chat box. Um, oh, let me bring that back up for a minute. Uh, just for a minute here and pop out that chat box and close that shrink that down all right now I got a chat box that I can see all right so what are we going to be doing this morning here um, we got attendant number one here I can shrink that down uh, no we can't uh, just go like that. All right, so we don't need to see the big one. I got the little one over here on the side, um, which you can't see over on the side over here. Uh, make the big one go away. So what do we got? Um, I'm going to start today by mentioning that it's Movember. Um, and Team Turbine with our team captain, Cordovan. Um, we're doing the shave and most of us are doing the, 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 the grow and the move. So 
feel free to check out http moteam.co team turbine um the purpose of Movember is to promote men's health, uh, mental health, um, promote, promote prostate cancer research, um, um, Team Turbine consists of the members of the communities of Dungeons and Dragons Online, Lord of the Rings Online, Asheron's Call, and other Turbine developed games. In addition to employees of Turbine, we are honored to support the Movember cause, roll a d20, and help us achieve a critical hit. Um, looks like we're at 435 so far. You can check out my most base there. And it's 8 o'clock, so it's time for my daily Movember picture. Um, every day throughout the month, I have been using my phone here to take a Movember selfie. So let's see here. And at the end of the month, I will take all of these Movember pictures. And I will be creating an animated 30 days and 30 seconds GIF image that I will be posting on the wiki and on Facebook. And we'll probably make it into um, the DDO Chronicle. So what are we going to do today for the wiki? Um, you can check out my personal page at mobro.co slash technical13. Um, still waiting for some more chat room contributors. Uh, icons. Uh, looks like we have Confucius. We're going to add him. So we have, let's see here, C O N F U L F U C L U S. We're up to two attendees. Woohoo! Cruising right along here. So, we got anybody else watching this morning? We'll just start editing, I guess. Um, don't forget to check out um, mobro.co slash technical13 or moteam.co slash team-turbine and help contribute to this cause. Um... So, let's head over to the wiki. Um, oh, looks like we need to update update 28 here. And because I don't have permission to do that on this account, let me do this real quick. Um, homepage... Let's use the Shoemaker account. And 
And that's not coming up. Um, just a second. Ah, there it is, okay. Drag this out here. All right, so here we are as Shoemaker. Um, in order to have access to update the homepage here, I had to be on an administrator account. Um, scroll down to the edit box. This is what the code looks like for these. We are now... Uh, I'm gonna copy this right here. Paste it, hotfix 2, patch 1, hotfix 2. We have a second hotfix up there. Let's link the notes for that on the home page. All right, so we shrink this down and we go back over here and we reload the page. Scroll down a little bit, patch one hotfix two that was applied uh, the other last week or yesterday morning rather um, is now linked on the home page. We can take a look at that. Looks like um, they fixed an issue in the DDO store that required inc reincarnated characters to log out and back in after making purchases. Um, many shot now increases double shot by 120 and range power by four times base attack bonus. Um, they adjusted some instant settings in Delara's graveyard to improve performance. And they made a change to the following spells so that they reduce the number of line of sight checks. Um, which should improve lag issues caused by those spells. Um, instead of checking every possible option, it only checks from the center point now, which is an improvement. Um, oh, so we have another contributor here. Let's see here. A-M-A-R-E-F, M-R-E-F, add attendee, up to three. Awesome sauce. Um, so what can we work on today? Anybody have any suggestions for things to work on? Well, I take a sip of coffee here. Oh, I've not only got a new computer system over here, but I got a new headset as well. So well, I've not yet adapted my sound level. If you think that I'm too loud or too soft, let me know in chat and I will adjust that. Sounds okay. Okay, good. Um, let's head over to the recent changes page here. You can see the edit that we just made with Technical 13 to add the patch one hotfix to there. Um, we got some changes to Hood of Unrest. Uh, Zav, also known as JJMC, updated his tabs. I wonder what he changed. Um, Cyclonic Blast had some changes. Interested in those. There was some comment on the notice board for font sizes after the upgrade. Um, it is a known, it, it is a, a known and working as intended change for the, for the font sizes. If that becomes an issue to people, um, it looks like we have another contributor here. If that becomes an issue to people, let me know, and I will um, update the common.css file to make changes for that. Add Kratz, C-R-A-T-Z-E-L-A-N-T-Z. 
up to four people now. Um, I will make changes to that in the um, common CSS, and we can we can change we can change font sizes. We can address that issue if it's an issue for people. Um, somebody posted something on the talk page. Talk pages are always good things to look at. Uh, monk talk page. Let's see what's going on here. Hmm. Thirty days might be too much. Looks like there is some discussion on some talk pages here. Um, all right, let's go up to our preferences here. And in recent changes, we want seven days. We only want to see since the last show and up to a thousand changes, that's fine. We need to modify our recent changes list a little bit here. Um, I usually only use this account once a week, so if we show a week's worth of changes, that should give us everything between what we have here. Um, so let's see, what did he change? He added no edit section. So Zab is busy in real life. Okay. Good to know. Zab may be unavailable. He's one of our um, DPL people. Hey, good morning, Gary. Let's enter you in the contest. Gary, 782. Up to five attendees now. We're halfway there. Five more, and we will have enough. Um, let's see here. What do we got going on? So the icon was changed. So that looks like there was a game fix there. So treated as a low level spell for the purpose of mantle of invulnerability. Seems fixed as of the recent patch as it works on all the liches and the night rebels. Uh, if we go back here, you'll see that down here it says as of update 28.1.2. That is actually using the game revision dates template. You just type in game revision dates, pipe, the date, and then two closing curlies there. And it will tell you whatever revision we were on as of that date. It's a very useful little thing there um, that we put together. It's also the same thing that basically, well, it's basically the same thing that puts this little update down here based on the date. Uh, all right, talk, Pirates of Thunder Sea. The lead from it doesn't seem to work or hasn't been coded yet. I'm not sure what that person was trying to say back in 2014. The new comment here. Oh, you saw somebody casting that in the festival yesterday. How, is, how was that working for them? Was it being blocked or dropped or whatever? Ah, so I'm going to reply. Um, see the reply I typed out, and you'll see that I put four tilde's at the end. Whenever you're typing a reply on a talk page, you always want to indent it using a an asterisk at the beginning and a space, an asterisk space. Um, 
if I, if somebody was to reply to mine, it would be asterisk asterisk space, and then the next person would be asterisk 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 space, and then let's say the next person was replying to me and not to either of those, it would just be asterisk asterisk. Basically, it's whatever the indent of the person you're replying to is plus one asterisk. Um, You'll note that I also put on four tilde's at the end. That will create a signature for me. Um, when you're talk making a, a comment on a talk page, always suffix it with four tilde's. Um, when you hit show preview, you'll see that it does DDO stream contribs message. And actually, once you save that, because of a gadget that we have, it'll actually add an email link as well because I have email set up. If I didn't have email set up, that wouldn't show up. Um, but it's always the level plus one asterisk um, and then four tilts at the end when you're working on a talk page. We're done with that one. Let's head down to Monk here. The ex I have added, so that looks like it's resolved itself. So we got two votes here in an area of months, that's probably gonna end up getting deleted. Um, head back over to the template. It's something that's no longer used. And because Zav has actually gone through and supported the delete and it's been plenty long enough with no objections, I'm actually going to switch over to um, my Shoemaker account, which is an administrator. And let me blow this up a little bit so you can actually read things. That looks like about a good size. Um, recent changes. If we go to, where's those talk pages? You can see I got a lot more bold stuff on my page. And I've got, this has a really big font size. Um, that's because I am running a personal script that says that if there's any changes that are less than five minutes old, it makes it really big. Um, and then the bold ones are ones that are on my watch list. Um, DDO Stream doesn't really have a watch list at the moment. Good morning, Daniela or however you pronounce it. So let's add you to the list here. Up to six, getting up there. Only got four more to go. I love that little little feature there of my thing with the, um, little progress bar here. Uh, it's a little small, so that's still too small, okay? Better? That means this is probably a little bit small as well. Make that one size bigger. That looks good, all right. Um, so we were going down, we were looking for this one, this one, this one, and this one. And we want to open up those. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, we don't need the Yahoo toolbar or the bookmarks. All right, so we're going to open up that one and that one and that one and that one as well. And we're going to delete we're gonna go here not quite loaded yet delete 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 reload that one I'll also note that if you go over to the administrator's notice board here,
I haven't moved over my modem or my um, router yet, so I'm using a wire, wi wireless connection on this computer at the moment. Uh, I'm using a, what is it? BGN, I think, adapter. So, and I believe it's only connected using G and I don't think it's a very good connection. Um, so if I'm a little bit laggy, that's probably why. Um, and I do have it doing a lot of stuff, so let's try that again. Let's try this one again. Take me there. Um, we're going to go through and vote pass per the deletion policy. Vote pass per the deletion policy. Vote pass per the deletion policy. I'm actually going to make a script for this. I'm also going to make a move script at some point. So that you won't have to go through and actually do all of this. Um, So, make sure they're all the same, and they are, we come back around. So from the administrator's notice board, if you go to requests, I believe it is, you'll see that it says there are eight pages currently flagged as delete. Um, it's just a little indicator there, and actually, because this is a... So this is talk page of a recently deleted page, because those are going to be the talk pages. So those need to use their own their own little reason there. So we're just going to go through and delete, 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 delete. And you'll see that it says action complete at the top there. Yeah, wireless G is pretty good. Um, it's not a wired connection, and I do have lag issues when I'm playing the game. Um, but, and I, and I think that once I actually plug in my router and, and do a, a tethered connection, it'll be okay. Um, but if there, you know, is any issue, it's, it's probably because I'm on wireless right now. Um... So it says action complete on all those. I could actually close them now without waiting for them to finish loading. But I'm going to reload this DDO Wiki Administrator's Notice Board request page. And this 8 right here should go down to 4, I believe. Once it actually loads. i got a couple that are loading in. So if you're in-game or you're on TeamSpeak or whatever, um, let your guildies and your friends know that we need four more people in order to do the raffle for 500 turbine points. Um, we need four more people to talk and chat. I see that we have seven viewers, which is the six of you plus myself, I believe. I believe I'm counted as a viewer. Um, good morning, Ed. Eddie T. Yes, I know the T is silent, but you know, I like it. It, it. it has a nice ring to it. Eddie T. Ed. Word T. Add attendee. Excellent. Three more attendees to go. Awesome sauce. Uh, all right, so you'll see that we're now down to four pages. You'll see flagged is a link. That actually takes you to the category to show you which pages they are. Um, and that actually takes you to the template to show you the template. So if we visit the category, you can see this has been deleted, 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 deleted. Um, you'll see that there are no orphan files because we haven't completed that yet. There are no instant deletes. Good morning, Gravisiers. Um, 
I can't add you to the list. You're a mod. Um, but it's good to see you. Um, you'll see that we have three more here. So I don't know why it says four on that other page. I should investigate that. Let's see here. Why does this say four when there are only three pages? Let's check out the discussion. Alert box is no longer needed because it's been superseded by another another thing. And check out the discussion there. Nobody's commented on that one. Item talk. Ah, right. That's an item that people want to delete it because it's, it's a... Is it a named item? Is it not a named item? Um, if you have an opinion, please check out the talk page for it and voice your opinion. All right, so this one actually has support and it's been plenty long with no, no discussion there. So we're going to actually delete this one as well. Delete. And delete. And this is going to be talk page. And this is going to be once it loads. So this is the deletion discussion for it. Um, P crazy argued argues that it's just a random generated weapon. Um, my counter to that is the gold border declares it as a named item. Um, as far as the plus five goes, it's no no different than the plus whatever eternal Maybar wands, the plus one Vorpal Sickling of Haggling, plus two intimidating dagger of paralyzing, or the winter festival wand of frost. M. Joel, who's retired, argued that it's a random generated item. Um, he was arguing that the icon border being purple suggested it was random. It is from the Evening Star Traders. It is named. Ah, so make sure that you, you visit that page, item talk, uh, plus five heirloom spell touch dart, and you comment on it. Zav argued that it's not deleted. And Blade argued for a move. So feel free to check out this page right here. Item talk plus five heirloom spell touch dart. Which if you start typing up here actually. Item talk plus five, it will take you right to it. Um, you don't have to do a lot of typing. You just get the plus five in there and it will take you right to it. So let's see here, that's the template itself. Vote passed, delete it, delete it. So what do we got here? So we have, so this right here is being populated by that. So we check out templates and we edit that template. Good morning, Red PT, and you make number eight. Red PT, add attendee. Up to eight out of ten. Two more to go. Waiting for that to load. That's been deleted. That's been deleted. You're getting to see a little bit of admin stuff this morning.
8 of 10. You have. You have been entered to win 500 turbine points at the end of the show. If we have 10 people. Alright, so what we have here is... Oh! We have, we have some, some fairly complicated looking code. Um, we have a if expression, expression with some math stuff. All right, so we can probably dump this inner expression here. Add a little bit of spacing for readability. Put in a little comment for chat there. If we hit 10 people this week, I'll give out 500 TP. If we hit 10 people next week, I'll give out 500 TP. I may raise the goal for the week after to 15 or 20. Um, these need to be non-moderators. Um, so Gravis and Titan don't qualify. Um, the whole idea is to get more people watching the show and in turn, the primary objective is to get more people editing the wiki. Um, I'll note that in December, we're doing our 10th year anniversary on the wiki, and there will be prizes. Um, so I, I know there will be prizes for people in the 25,000 edit category, people in the 10,000 category edit, uh, edit category, and people in the 5,000 category edit. I already have those prizes picked out and figured out. Um, the 25K and the 10K will be a mystery pot prize offered by Zevo, and it's a really good prize. Um, the I can tell you what the 5K tier will be. It will be um, it will likely be 500 turbine points, and then there will be prizes for things like users with the most uh, real minor edits. Um, which I'm thinking of giving out um, hand sanitizer, or in in conjunction with community manager Cordervan, who will actually be handing out most of the prizes for that stuff. The goal is for these prizes, um, except for the top two. Those come from Zevo, who is the host of the wiki. Um, so back to our. DDO Wiki Administrator's Notice Board Request Delete Counter. Um, pages in cat flag for deletion. So we upgraded the wiki. And because of that, I'm actually curious about something. So we got pages in category flag for deletion. If I do a show preview on that, it says four. What if I add pages to that? Excellent. Can I make that raw? Excellent. Before the um, the wiki upgrade, you could only get the number of pages. When you did pages in category, it gave you the number of pages, it gave you the number of subcategories, and the number of files, all as one number. 
and there was no way to separate those out without visiting the actual category and manually doing it, which is why it says three pages, because I'm only doing minus one, and there are currently two subcategories instead of the one that there was when I started it. Um, so now I can replace, replace that with just, just the list for pages, and that will work. Um, the upgrade added a bunch of new special words. Um, if we go to mediawiki.org, wiki, help, magic, words, and we scroll down, you'll see we were at 1.19. Um, we are now at 1.22. So we picked up page ID. We didn't get cascading sources because that's a 1.23 thing. And oh, wait a minute, we did we did get 1.23. So we did get cascading sources, which is 1.23. Um, we also picked up revision size, which is the size and byte of the current page. Um, we didn't get display title for no error, no replace on that. We have number of views, but it's useless on a wiki that uses caching like ours. So that one doesn't help us any. We picked up, ah, we picked up pages and category, all pages, subcats and files, which will break it down for us. Um, that is an awesome improvement. Um, we picked up root page name, so it returns just the root page name, which you used to have to do a, um, base page name, and then use title parts to split the rest of it off. Um, it was a real pain, or you had to pipe um page name to base page name it was a real pain um we picked up namespace number which is awesome we didn't get the pipe template that was converted into a magic word but that's okay we have a template for that um before it was added as a magic word I'm not sure why it was they worried about making it into a magic word instead of just using it as a template, but I guess it'll make it a little bit less expensive to use. Um, we picked up page ID page name, which means that you can pipe a page name to a page ID and get that uh, page. Per, you can get the protection level. Um, Cascading sources, revision ID, revision day. You can get all of these things. And the difference between the ones here and the ones above is that they're expensive for one, which means you don't want to put a lot of them on a page. And you can actually pass a page name to them so you can refine your criteria a little bit with that. Um, 1.18, so nothing new there. We had all of those before. Uh, scrolling through. So we have um, well, a, a URL enc encoded special page name. So special user login gives you special user login. I can't think of any special pages that have spaces in them, but if there was, it would just replace the spaces with underscores. Um, so we picked up all those extra magic words. The other big thing about the update is um, if you do any JavaScript gadgets or user scripts or anything like that, the API has gotten a complete overhaul. So being able to request information from the system and send information back has been changed. Um, so I can take this. We don't need that anymore. Um, 
Flag for deletion. Do that. I can replace this one. Show preview. I should say two pages are currently flagged as delete. Awesome. Show changes. We get rid of the minus one there, the minus one there, the minus one, the minus one. Oh, we missed one right here. Um, so let's see here. Right here. One thing I love about Firefox, the ability to search and highlight and do that. Show changes. That's a little bit easier to read. Uh, show preview. Excellent. Save page. Do you have any specific questions about the upgrade there, Dan? Danny? Now take a look at recent changes here. We have our comment as DDO stream. We have our deletion log. We deleted all that stuff. We made a change here. Looks good there. We can shrink that down and back over here. Excellent. All right, so what else do we have here? Let's up update our recent changes. Oh, interesting. Facebook just notified me that today is Steel Star's birthday. So we're going to pop over to IRC real quick. Actually, let's pop over to IRC using our own. Copy link address, paste, channel, percent, 23DDO, and Nick is going to be DDO stream. So let's visit that page and let's add that to our hotbar there and hit connect. Uh, text is kind of small here. Let's um, see if we can fix that. And I really hate that bar at the top, inspect element, delete that element, get rid of those advertisements. I don't like them. Looks like um, Ague is in our DDO stream channel, DDO wiki channel over in here. Let me make my picture go away for a minute. Good morning, my ST Walker 67.
also, we make sure that he knows that we're wish wishing him a happy birthday. Um, let's add our newest attendee to our my st walker 67 one more to go and we will have enough people to do our role so we'll see i don't know if um I don't know if Steel Star will be on in time to respond to that this morning. Um, looks like we're not logged into the forum. Let's get logged in there. Let's take a look at our subscriptions there, see if there's anything new. Nothing new there. We have um, our DDO stream. Oh, I will mention that I'll be updating that DDO stream thread today with not only our new stream that we're doing right now, but I'm also going to be updating the playlist and some of the links to the other ones. I have been going through downloading the pieces of the other ones and merging them together. Like this one right here has been merged I just and, and it's been uploaded. I just need to um, update the link here and fix the post. Um, Looks like I need to pick up some of the other ones here and merge them as well, but I'm going to be hosting them all on my own personal um, YouTube, and Cordovan is actually going to be just, just doing the playlist. I intend on going through most of the regular episodes and adding some level of closed captioning. So let's sign in here. Legend of the Red Dragon. Next. Oh. I don't remember what that is. Let's try that one. Good morning, Entomix. About time you showed up. Um. Ent Entomix, and you make number 10. We now have enough people to be able to roll for a win winner. Um, so, let's go to my channel, and you'll see that I upload re-uploaded the patch. Patch one stream I did. It's the full 7.5 hours in one in one there. Um, I'll be going through and adding some. We'll go to playlists here. I'll be merging some more. Um, so playlists. Why that's not loading right now videos playlist there we go um shoemaker do you wiki talk so you'll see that some of these will get merged in together um and i'll be renaming them and stuff like that to make them easier to find um so yeah you'll be able to check that out if you want to check it out on on YouTube, it's simply um, www.youtube.com slash playlist question mark list equals and then this string right here. Um, actually, let me add that. Oh, you can't see me. Ha ha. Let's add my picture back now. Um, let's add text. To the stream real quick add that okay
can't read it. Let's change the color. Uh, let's make it black for a minute. Okay. Uh, let's scroll down here. Let's. Now you can't see it at all. Uh... All right, here we go. Let's put this up over here. Let's. Um, let's give it a background. Give it a white background. Resize it a little bit. There we go, there's the full thing. And let's actually throw this down on the bottom here. Um, um, so you wanna know about the in-game DDO chat service. Uh, no, it's actually not based on IRC. It is, um, as far as I can tell, ah, Mistwalker, okay. Ah, let's do this. Oh, I can't because you were in after at Intermix. Well, let's do this. Mistwalker 67. And then we'll put Intermix back in underneath you. No, they don't get two. We can actually re now remove extra names. I actually have a friend from, or an acquaintance from um, MediaWiki IRC that is actually ST Walkerster. So I just assumed it was my ST Walker and went with that. Um, so, let's see here. Where did our text go? Ah, it's at the bottom, right. So text. Let's not use an outline. Let's make it bold text. There, now it's readable. All right, so I'll be updating that later today. Um, let's take a look at recent changes here. Actually, it's nine o'clock, we're at the halfway mark. Um, let's take a five minute break for me to refill my coffee cup and do that kind of thing. And we will be back. So. Uh, don't need my picture while we do that. I'll be back in five minutes.
Yes, I'm going to give people a few more minutes to um, get back. I said five minutes. It's only been like three. Um, hmm. But while we do that, um, let's take a look at a really old page on the wiki. Last time it was updated was... Uh, May 5th, and apparently the template there is broken a little bit. It's putting in double dates. I'll have to look into that. Oh, let's look into that right now. I don't like that being broken at all. So let's see here. MediaWiki game revision dates. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a subpage of this called test cases. I'm going to open that in a new tab. I'm going to go back here. And five minutes is up. I've got my coffee. We're going to run with this. So um, we can actually use this as a page to do some testing. Um, crap. How does that template work? Time, universal, if error, expression, if that's not a number, then use date or one or now. If there's not an error, then use that. Okay, so it will accept a parameter. Yes, you do. You do just see me. Um, so everybody should be back. Let's bring up this here. So, and it looks like we have another another participant to add to the list here. So we can actually go above 10 users. Jesus 09999. There you go. We're up to 11 people now. So what we've got here is we're going to create a test cases page because I found that on the chat page, it's got a double revision number there, which should not be there. Um, so let's head back over here. If we do this... So what I want to do is have a day in the future today. So a day in the future today. And then I want one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven other dates. Um, I want seven other dates here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I want today. I want starting at the bottom.
I want something before... So I want something in 2005. So if I throw a 2005 at the bottom here... Okay. I want something from, I don't know, let's just say June of 2006. And then for the next section, I want something from June of 2008. And then for the next section, I don't understand your question, MRF. Let's do January of 2010. Attendees needed is the minimum number of attendees in order to be able to roll for a winner. That's just a count of attendees. Go up to the next section and we'll do January of 2013. Up in the next section, we'll do June of 2014. June of 2015. The next one is the now, and then now plus one year, we'll look a year in the future. All right, so it looks like we have a breakdown here and a breakdown here. So the third group from the bottom, right. The list needs to contain at least 10 people. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven people. Yeah, except that the program counts them as they enter them, and since people like filter in slowly throughout the, the course of the stream. I can't just enter all the names at the beginning and have it count them and say that's it. Um, I gotta be able to add names as people join, which could be halfway through, it could be at any point. So what it does now is it actually keeps a count in the background and then it keeps updating this. And if I do that, that wasn't supposed to happen, but okay. Um, that won't hurt anything, I don't think. Hmm, that might hurt something. That might be a bug I need to fix. So...
Let's do something real quick. What I'm doing is I have Notepad. Ah, did he? I have Notepad open to the side of it, and I'm actually writing down all the names. And I'm actually going to reset this. 500, need 10 people, cut, paste, add, 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 cut, paste, add. There, so now we've got a clean list. Let's um pop back over to IRC for a second. Uh, Steel Star says morning. Says, ha, thanks, studio stream. Jibbo said, morning and happy B day. Steel Star is going to get a lot of happy birthdays in IRC today. <laughs> um, lots of good stuff. Good old Mibbit. Gotta love it, right? Put me back up there. Put the list back up there. All right, so heading back over to here. Um, so we got chat. Somebody asked a question about chat. Um, whether or not it was based on IRC. And, you know, you'd kind of think that based on the slash commands, right? Um, so there might be some IRC basis to it. At least in theory, thought-wise. Um, you can also go to chat colors. And it teaches you how to make, how to use colors in chat. Um, so it gives you some examples. You can do, you know, AFK, sit is going C green AFK for C green. And then you'd have to go down and you'd have to find C green um, which actually isn't in the list here, so it won't work. Um, but baby blue is value and less than RGB equals. So it's kind of like XML. Oh, C green could be down here. Yeah, right there. So you can make all of these little aliases. Um, and so basically I believe that the in-game chat client, because of the way that it used to be and the way that it is now, with the and less than RGB equals stuff, I believe it's a form of XML. I, I believe it's an XML chat box. Um, whether or not there's some kind of IRC behind that, I don't have any idea. 
Um, and I don't believe that the current developers really do either. Um, it's one of those things locked away in old legacy code that they don't look at. So, um, all right, so we, wow, that's what we're working on. Oh, I see Edward is um, making some edits this morning. Long broom of mystery. Let's see here, what did he do? That's how HTML writes text. Only HTML has a very specific list of allowed tags, and RGB equals is not one of them. However, that is allowable in XML, so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm leaning more towards XML. Um, that wouldn't be allowed in HTML. So long broom of mystery, and you can see, yes, our pictures still scroll off to the side. It is a known issue. I will be working on that in the near future, so soon TM. Uh, let's see what... Edward has changed. I believe he just added a picture to it. Yep, he added the picture right here. Um, so we were working on test cases here. So what do we have? We have update something between that isn't working. So we're missing a closing bracket there, apparently. So let's head down here. If I throw in an extra closing bracket there. That doesn't work. The best way to actually work on this is to, it could be. Um, actually, the best thing to do here is to open Notepad, which I don't know why it doesn't layer it in XSplit on this computer like it does on the other one. But what we're going to do is we're going to take all this code and in Notepad, we're going to paste it in there. And then I'm going to have to add a source. Screen capture here. And there is that. So we're going to blow this up a little bit. All right. The thing that I like about um, using Notepad to do these kinds of things is that um, it has bracket matching. So if we if we go back here for a second and we see that there's an, an issue before update 28 where update 25.3 isn't closed properly. Oh, I bet I know what it is, looking at that. So let's go back over to Notepad here for a second. So we need to go to 24.01. No, my original thought was that that pipe was missing and it wasn't dumping out, but that pipe is there.
Should we have one more set of brackets up here? Which means that we have an extra set way down at the bottom now. So if we copy this, we shrink that down, we go over here and we paste it in here, and we do a show preview, what does that look like? So that doesn't work. So we delete that and we put it back at the bottom. All right, in that case, um, let's get rid of a set of brackets right above update 24.01. Let's grab this pair here and put it down at the bottom. Let's do this in Notepad. And the other spot was module above module four. So we go back over here and we go down to module four. We grab a pair from here, doesn't matter which pair. We stick that at the bottom and we paste this in here and we do a show preview. Does this fix the problem? It looks okay here. It says page over here, which you can't see behind the chat box, so I'm just going to wait for it to load. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to refresh the page here and see if this fixes any of this. Well, that's not good. It doesn't fix the problem, and it adds an unrecognized punctuation character down there. Not able to read the font size? Really, that's not big enough? All right, I'll make it bigger. Is that better? All right, so this didn't finish loading, but it was saved. It just didn't reload the page. Page history. There's nothing to see on this page. The code part is really small. Huh. All right, what did we change here? Moved a bracket from there and a bracket from there, and we put them down at the bottom. All right, so what I'm going to do, this is what you can't read. 
Let's make that bigger. It's just repeating code over and over again. The only difference is the module number or the, the update number and the date that it's testing against. I'm going to break this up by year. Um, so let's go enter, 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 enter. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the oldest stuff. Official launch. One, two, three expressions. Chop that out. Put it at the bottom. OK. So we're going to do it by year. I don't know what the significance of 2006 is and why that's empty. And why is it duplicated? Let's just delete that line. We don't need it. OK. So two thousand five. Let's grab. That's the first 2006 one. Let's grab the 2006 chunk. Move that down. Copy. 2006. All right. And we want to include this into here. So this very last one. Needs to go to the bottom. All right, so. Get rid of that. Move all this down here. All right, so we got 2007, which starts here. So we go from the matching bracket back to the beginning of 2007. Chop that out. And we take the last set, we put it at the bottom, and we copy this, and we say 2007. We copy this, we say 2008, uh, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015. All right, so we got 2008 here, starts there. Grab all that. I love matching brackets. This is the 2008 section. Grab the last one here, tack it on the bottom. We're 
we're missing a pipe here. That could be part of the problem. Grab that and stick it on the bottom. Delete that. Stick this over here. Add an enter there. All right, so I got this one doubled here, August 31st. So we can get rid of this one. We don't need the duplicate. Bring that up there. Don't need that there. Two thousand nine goes to here, which is this set of brackets. We cut this. Yeah, it's a common, it doesn't hurt anything, but okay. Paste that into there. Grab this last one from here. Tack it on the bottom. Get rid of some of these spaces. Don't need quite that much space. 2010 starts here, so we want this chunk. Cut. Paste. Cut. Paste. 2011 is right there. Grab that. Cut. Paste. Cut. Scroll to the bottom. Paste. Indeed, I am a big fan of neat code. No, nope, I am OCD as well on that kind of stuff. I would have actually gone back through and, and caught that. And we actually need to add your name to our list of people to roll for the 500 turbine points at the end. So... We're going to add you. There you are. You make number 12. So there's that. All right, so back over here. Um, we get another duplicate here. I think I see what I was doing there, which is meh. Trying to reduce expansion size by reducing expansion size. We're going to dump it for now. All of these go to the bottom. 2012 is right here. So we want from here to here. Two thousand twelve, grab the last set of pipes here. We don't need this extra line here. We can grab all of this, move it down here, put that there. Um, 2013 is on that line. So from here to here, paste that in there, grab this last one. Tack it on the end, scroll up to the top. 2014. Starts here. So 
Grab that. Paste it in here. Grab the last set. Cut that out. Tack it on the bottom. We don't need this break for expansion depth here. And the rest is 2015. Uh, we're not quite into 2016 yet. Um, let's grab this, chop it out. I don't want to lose that, so I am going to actually stick that up there for there, for now, chop that out, 2015, we're going to grab from here to here, tuck that in 2015. Grab the last set of brackets, stick those on the bottom, grab this line here, move it down to there. All right, so we're going to grab this right here, stick that way down on the bottom. And that coincides with the top. This is its own definition. We're going to chop all that out. We're going to edit this page here. Select all, paste. Show preview should show 28.1.2. Excellent. Save page. If we refresh this, it should show. Hmm. So we still have errors. Update 24.01, update 20.1, module. So we got even more that are smashed together now. Um, all right, let's go back to our code. Take a look. The first one that has an issue is 24.01. And actually, there might be more than that because I actually need to update this by year. Let's just do copy this. Because of the way that I changed the way that it was broken up, so we're going to do minus one year, minus two years, three years, four years, five years, six years, seven years, eight years, nine years, 10 years, 11 years. 12 years is what we'll go to. And 
There we go. All right, so we got like 10 minutes left of the stream here, and it looks like they all have an issue, except for the most recent one and the bottom one. And for some reason, the bottom two down here aren't showing the before the game existed like they're supposed to. They're supposed to display this. So... So let's make sure we got our pipes in place here. Got a pipe at the end there. We got a pipe at the end there. Let's move that down. Let's move that down. All right, so what if I take at the beginning of each year here and I add a pipe? Because of the way that I got them closing, let's chop all that out, go back over here, edit. I'm going to be doing the drawing in about five minutes. Show preview. That looks good. That doesn't break the immediate stuff, the new stuff. Refresh this. It breaks everything that's old. Um, so this is going to take a little bit more work. Um, because it's not working as intended. Hmm. Take those extra pipes out. Scroll that down. Let's do this. Cut that out. Let's put in two more pipes, two more curly brackets for each one of these and try that. A lot of wiki editing, as you can see, is a matter of trial and error. Make sure that that's closed. It's not. So let's go down the bottom and add 
two pipe should close that. Two closing brackets, rather. Yep. All right. So chop all that out. Edit. Scroll down to edit box. Select all. Paste. That failed horribly. Try this. Show preview. Oh, that doesn't work at all. That just shows them all. Um, but which side of it does it show? Twenty eight one two is the newest one, twenty four oh one. So if it's greater than or equal to, then show that. If it's greater than or equal to All right, so Basically, I need to add one more to each one of these at this point. What I need to do is copy this line, paste it here. Copy this line, paste it here. As you remember, probably remember, these were actually already in here. In the original version. And now we know why. We know what my thought process was. So we go. Copy. Paste. Delete. Null, copy, paste, delete, null, copy, paste, delete, Copy, paste, 2009, copy, paste, delete, copy, paste, copy, paste, Delete, copy, paste, paste, paste. We want to make sure that we bump these all out so that they're easy to see. Re readable code is important. Copy. Paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Okay, so now that I've added these extra lines, I need to add, I need to make sure that 
there is a closing bracket for each one of them. Yeah, I dropped a couple frames. All right, so everything looks good here. Cut, shrink this, select all, paste, show preview, a couple extra brackets, show preview. So that's broken. Oh, uh, before the game existed. Ah, so we got extra brackets here. All right, so that fixes that. Go back up to the top. Where's my closing bracket for this? Right there. So we need to get rid of that. Put it at the bottom. Nope. Still got an extra cl closing bracket. All right, so that should fix it. Trial and error, show preview. 2812, that looks good. Let's see what it looks like on the next one. Oh, last minute entry, huh? Reload our test cases page and excellent. So that works. The only thing that we're missing is the before the first revision thing. So if we go back over here, we scroll back down at the bottom here before the game existed. Let's um chop that out actually and put it at the end here. I believe we're done with notepad. Go back to here, edit. Edit box, paste, show preview. That looks good. Copy this, make it the edit summary. Reload and the bottom two should fill in. Come on, fingers crossed. No. Now that your edit was save thing, I only refresh the page. Refresh the page. I didn't actually save it, and the previous thing I did wasn't a save. I don't know why this is showing up. It is on my bug list of things to fix. Um, but we are going to do an edit here. Edit. We are going to just add a little time y I know we're a minute over already but we started a minute late and we're not that pressed for time so we're going to copy paste 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 Paste. Paste. Now. Now minus a year. Now minus two years. Add a space there. Add some spaces there. We're going to copy this one and paste 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 
We're going to add a space here, a space here, a space here. And we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Space, space. All right, so let's add virtual Gib, who was our last minute attendee. And you can see that we got 2016, 15, 14, 13, right down through to 2003. And it shows what it's supposed to show. We got another last minute show up. Um, so let's bring this up. It is time to roll. Um, we will we will add our last minute show ups. Um, so we've got our list here. So we're gonna roll for a winner. Um, and the winner I will send a PM through Twitch to with a code for 500 turbine points. And today's winner is Red PD, participant number eight. So Red PD, you will receive a turbine code from me later today with instructions. Um, you can't redeem the code in the in, in, in game, in the game store. You have to go to myaccount.turbine.com to redeem it. I will send instructions. Um, put that in there. Um, I will be on same bat channel, same bat time next week. We will be doing another 500 turbine point giveaway next week. Um, if there are 10 non-moderated um, contributors, I will make a few little changes to my tool over here to fix the bug that I found earlier, and I want to indent this a little bit more. And I might add some more features like a drop down for the prize and that kind of thing. Um, So I look forward to seeing you guys next week, and Red, you'll get your code today. Everybody have a great day.